Hello, today I would like to show you how to fix Gotenna Mesh blinking problem. On a recent video I was telling you that I'm going to get another pair to put one of my rooftop and because I don't really need a 4 unit I was searching the internet for the used one and I came across a person who was selling two Gotenas, which one was bricked and that's the reason why I've got a extremely good price and that was a perfect finding for me because I really need uh, just a one unit to put on my rooftop and then two for my daily use so that was a perfect finding but maybe we are going to be able to to fix the problem and it's not pairing there is no way to pair this Gotenna as you can see I've got my app opened I click the pair the Gotenna mesh and it's not pairing I was trying to to see it left but it it just won't work what is the interesting part? It was discovered by the Bluetooth. I can I can see this unit, but not as a Gotenna mesh, but as a device that will need uh, require a firmware update. And by searching that firmware update problem, I ended up on that page. You can see the the Pink Turtle website and for them go all the credit. Okay, so let's do our fix. So we've got our page open it. It's going to be in the description. We are going to go over there and we are going to download that file. Yes, we would like to download and it will appear over there. I'm going to click and we are on our file manager it's it's compressed so we are going to extract it by clicking and we've got it extracted as you can see we've got uh, three files the phase one the phase two part one phase two part two we're going to start left to the right we're going to click and hold and it's a little bit unintuitive, but I'm going to click the share button and we are going to swipe and we've got a copy to an RF toolbox. And as you can see, we've got our file detail over there. On bottom, we've got a select device. This is our Bluetooth device in the area and we've got a New device called it device firmware update target. And it's sending. What we are going to do next is we are going to repeat this process. I'm going to go back to the file manager. The phase 2 part 1 long click share swipe to the copy to the toolbox we got our new file we are going to select the device and exactly device firmware update target we are going to hit the upload and that might actually take a little bit longer Just looking for from the file size perspective. Bluetooth is not the not the fastest one. So I might eventually pause this. So you don't waste your time. And maybe if we got lucky I'm going to get a uh, two Gotenas working 
instead of just one but I was purchasing that with a 100% satisfaction of the one unit for my rooftop relay so I'm not going to to cry about it okay it's completed and our third part repeat our process okay share copy to URF select device uh, device target okay and upload and this is our last part after uploading this it should start working again so we can cross our fingers and we are going to see what outcome okay and as you can see the color change and I'm pretty sure that it will work I'm going to open the Gotenna and as you can see actually I'm already pair to make sure that this is one this is that Gotenna I'm going to hit over here and it's blinking but of course I show you that on the phone so we're going to go to the settings and I'm going to unpair and I'm going to hit pair and as you can see I'm pair and we've got a fully working Gotenna so yes that's how you can fix your Gotenna yes it looks working so here is a quick video how you can fix that remember the all credits go to the author of the of the web page in the description this is not my finding this is his his work so thank you very much for watching see you next time and bye bye